You need a body shop? You need engine repair? Auto Excellence, Collision Specialists, 631-261-6420. That's 631-261-6420. Auto Excellence. Jimmy, I gotta take a dump. What? No, I mean I need a dumpster. <sighs> well, for all those needs, you need to call Big V Dumpster Rental, Long Island, New York, 631-900-DUMP. Hmm. My opinion as a fan, okay? okay we're not sure. in the industry, we're not experts. I'm sure. giving you a fan's perspective. Because you did something very simple. You patted yourself on the back. No one did that type of shit back then. Dude, and the robe with the hands yes. on the back. Oh, the vest, right? Sometimes it was, vest, it, was, right? it was. It was. It was. To me, I remember. You know, maybe I've. Yeah, maybe it's a vest, sleeveless vest. But it looks so good, though. I mean, it was like there was something flashy about it. And so my point is, like, dude, what me like? It, it, was it, it worked. Was the WWE okay with that, or did you say, "Hey, I'm just doing this, and I'm going to put myself oh, over this so way"? Oh, so worked. So can oh you talk God. about well, that? The, the deal was, I always portrayed myself as when I started, I am going to be a wrestling heel. What's a wrestling heel? Well, go watch a film with Bob Orton Jr. and Don Morocco. <laughs> that's yes. a re- hey, that's hey. a wrestling heel Amen. at its finest. Oh yeah. Now I can mention others, but um, they're they're at the top of my uh, top there. They're at the top uh, of the top. Randy Orton following his footsteps of his dad, love maybe that. even more so. We Got a great that. look, by the way. Yep. Great heel, great yep. look, great work. Agreed. Never met him. I know his father well. Okay. But, bro, you mentioned Morocco. We, yeah. We, 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 what a beast. Real quick, I yep. want to stay on your character. Oh, Fan sure. out there, Ronnie Roberts asked, why do you feel Vince really never pushed you? You were getting over now. You know you were getting over. You were getting over with us, right? Again, yep. we knew who Barry Horowitz was. Yep. And we do remember the matches you won. So, Vince is a pretty smart guy, right? Why didn't he give you the push? Good you know, question, Ronnie. I, I've had that asked... Between that and the Hall of Fame over the last couple of years, and I really don't have an answer. I mean, I'll give you my answer, but I always just say, I mean, if some fans say it, I go, you need to go ask Vince. I don't know what to tell you. But forget about the Hall of Fame. As far as pushing me, I don't know. I had no heat. Maybe that was the problem. Showed up on time, never failed a drug test, never busted up a bar, never did anything but my job because I had a passion. Still do. And that was what I wanted to do. Um, I, I, I don't know, and I'm not going to do nothing sexually or illegal, so that ain't going to happen with me. So you take me for how I am. Or was I jacked up enough? I'm in shape, but I wasn't jacked. But let me tell you something. You push Danny Davis. <laughs> nothing against Danny, because I like pants. him. And a great referee. <laughs> right. Yeah. So sure. I, I, I really, I don't know, but somebody told me, contacted me two months ago, Somebody asked Jim Carnette on his podcast about me. And you know what Jim said? And I never thought of this. All these years, you know, you could teach an old uh, old dog new tricks. And here was one trick that was taught to me. And I'm not trying to put myself over. Sure. But this is what Jim Carnette said, because I listened to it for seven minutes. Mm-hmm. And he says, I know Barry, blah, blah, blah. I know Jim from Crockett Promotion. I worked for him for Smoky Mountain. Okay. I brief stint in WWF because he was with... Vince and the writers and that goofy Vince Russo. <laughs> um, so I didn't get to talk to him like, uh, you know, and I'm game I'm game time. I get there. I get on the plane. I'm ready. I'm in shoot mode. Mm. And it worked for me. I, I liked it. You don't want to be like Bob Backlund says. You don't want to be over intense, but you don't want to be under. The mm. trick is to keep it in the middle. And guess what? You got to work hard to keep it in the middle. It's yeah, hard. Sure. But anyway, getting back to... Um, the push, I said, I mean, I guess they saw my matches with Skip, and somebody reported it to the agents, and they said, let's try this out. Okay, I'm sorry. Back up the train. We'll we'll go with that. Coronet says, right. sorry, um, he says, Barry was just too good. He showed up on time. He didn't fail no drug tests. He worked his ass off. He was just too good. And they said, why push him? Let's leave him there so he could get over our guys, Bret Hart, Undertaker, and whatnot, and then have a house match. Have this, have that, because I could go either way. 
I can get in there with Undertaker and put him over and make him look like Dead Man in two minutes properly. I don't have an ego problem with that. Mm -hmm. The guys that do have an ego problem or they can't work. But at the same time, hey, Barry, I need you to go in there with uh, WCW uh, in Fort Myers, Florida on live TV with Disco Inferno. We need to get 13 minutes. You're going to see a hell of a fucking match. Right. Because 13, I'm just getting warmed up. And I would get heat for going too long, but the only reason I didn't get in trouble or fired or fined, because I may have went over by five, but it was fucking good. Barry, how old are you right now? I'm 61. 61. 230 pounds, 8% body fat. Yeah. I'm a fucking machine. Bro, you look like you bro, you look like <laughs> nice. you're getting a ring right now. <laughs> I, I want to. I want to. I'd rather watch you. <laughs>